the second we went through the gates, I was almost in tears at what these children were living in. Very little access to water, probably no running water, and a lot of them don't, like, don't even have mattresses. There's no sheets or blankets or pillows. These children who are ranging in age from 2 years old to 14 years old, who are just all thrown into one room um, and have to all share clothes and they don't like even really have a space or anything for themselves. It's very dangerous. There's a lot of sharp objects on the ground and gravel and things are kind of half done. It's just extremely unsafe conditions for these children who obviously don't have shoes. The kids don't really have anything that belongs to them, like any personal items. Um, I saw one of the boys step on a nail and his foot started bleeding and they didn't even have medical supplies to clean up his foot. And I thought that I had seen poverty, um, but when you really see living conditions like we saw in Ghana, you really learn how fortunate you are. Hannah May is a good friend of mine, and when she got back from going to Ghana over winter break, she told me all about the stuff they did there and how much of a difference they made um, in the lives of the kids at the orphanage and just how in need they were and how a little bit goes such a long way. And so when she told me that she wanted to continue the efforts here at OU, I instantly wanted to help and I thought it would be a cool thing and even though it's just in the starting process and we're kind of building it from the ground up, I think it has a real potential to be something really cool and make a huge difference in these kids' lives who have so much of their life still ahead of them. Um, I started the foundation um, when I got back to the United States because I really wanted to continue helping these children. Um, I definitely want people at OU to get involved in this foundation um, and UNICEF in general. I think it's extremely important for people to understand um, the conditions for people around the world. Um, I think it's a huge issue that people don't fully understand. I know I personally didn't understand it before I studied abroad, um, especially in Africa. I was never really aware of um, like the living conditions and health conditions for people outside of the United States, but traveling to Ghana definitely opened my eyes to what is actually happening around our world. I'd say one of my huge goals for this is definitely just to raise awareness um, about the living conditions for the children in Africa. What we are mainly focusing on right now is money that we can put into a fund that the lady in charge of the foundation will get a hold of and from that she will be able to buy medical supplies and food for the children.